Right at 1030, you're about to meet a local man who is taking a backyard game and making it much bigger. So he lives in Edmonds and is creating an impressive wiffle ball league. Fox 13 photojournalist Marcus Matheson brings us the sights and the sounds. Dingers or nothing. All we're out here to do is hit dingers, hit home runs. We're in Edmonds, Washington. This is my parents' backyard. I'm Jack Blaus, and I'm the founder of AWA Wiffle Ball. Wiffle Ball is just like baseball, except I think it just curves a lot more. Instead of six inches of break, it'll be three feet of break. We have a zone, a strike zone, instead of a catcher. Right now, our speed limit is 60. And the main reason for that is uh, 61 from uh, how far we pitch back, which is about 37 and a half feet, is equivalent to about a 90, 92 mile per hour fastball uh, from up 60 and a half like uh, in the MLB. Most players, I would say, are right around the 26-year-old age. There definitely are some teams that they're in rebuild mode, but there's a lot of teams that are very good. The field is smaller, the balls don't go as far. It was not originally meant to be a, a field, and we kind of just, hey, we have some space here. Uh, let's just try to make it as close to a field as we can make, and that's kind of what I think draws people to it. And we had a, a league called the Edmonds Wiffle Ball League, which was just around our buddies. Kind of lost it a little bit as people went to college, and then in 2020, when COVID happened, uh, my job was delayed, my friends' jobs were delayed, everyone moved back to their parents' house, and we're like, what else are we going to do? And uh, we just started playing again. And that's ripped high and deep, and Pratt has just hit a two-run home run. In 2020, I was like, hey, let's just start posting videos, see, see what happens. And that kind of started to build up traction, and now today I think we have 1.4 million followers across socials. First pitch from Jack Blayhouse hits Kadama for ball 1-1-0 one, one here to Kadama early. Two years ago, I was announcing games uh, to a phone sitting on a ladder. Now we have a whole production booth. My name is Mark Campanero, and I'm the VP of Communications here at AWA with the ball. It gets Jack Blayhouse. What a pitch there from Pratt. It's been really cool. I have my buddies next to me doing color commentary. I was really just announcing wiffle ball games in my friend's backyard to a bunch of people on TikTok. And now it's just become something so much more. And now I'm basically become the voice of AWA. Hey, up top. <laughs> when you win a game against your friends, especially guys you've been playing with your whole life, it's a, it's a, it's a nice feeling, but I think we also kind of, without any fans here, we, it's kind of hard to grasp the idea that, you know, we have 4,000 people watching. The joy you have when you first pick up a wiffle ball bat, you know, it, it doesn't really change, you know, you're just, you're just having fun with your friends in the backyard. Just to continue to play a sport that we all love, and it's, it's much harder to do that when you yeah. graduate high school, let, let alone graduate college. Oh, my God! <laughs> you're playing outfield! So never stop, you know, playing things that make you feel like a kid, um, you know, because when you're an adult, that's when you probably need it the most. Out here, we're just here to have fun, have a good time, and hit dingers.